hello friends welcome in this section i want to guide you on how to install the ibm spss software in your pc so whether you are using windows or mac os this guide will show you how to do it step by step so all i want you to do is to open your favorite browser in my case i'm using google chrome but you can use any of your favorite browser to do this so i'll go to my search tab my search bar and type IBM SPSS statistics okay and it will take me to this page I'm going to click on the first link here look at it very well IBM SPSS statistics and if you look this is from the IBM.com website so I'm going to click on it it will take me to the IBM product page which is this so you can see it says IBM SPSS statistics analyze data with ease forecast trends accurately and drive key outcomes so we have two options here either to purchase the licensing for the paid version or to try it for free and um, previously you can try this application for free for 30 days but now they have reduced it to 14 days so you have 14 days to use it for free but within the 14 days you can do a whole lot of things depending on um, how much time you have and how convenient the time is is that okay so we're going to click on try it free to get the free version so start your free 14 day trial create your account no credit card required so now <clears throat> for you to get this trial version you need to have what is called an ibm account so an IBM account is nothing else but more like an ID that you can be able to access the free application. But like you can see here, the free application comes with everything that is in the paid version. So it's not like you are getting part of what the premium users have. No, you have free access to all that the premium users have, but only for 14 days. So the first thing we are going to do together would be to create an IBM account. And to do that, all you just need to do is to use your preferred account, your email address that you can verify. Okay. So I'm going to use, um, let's say, Chris, um, okay, 23 and then my password will be anything I choose. Okay. So choose yours and you should be good to go. And next I'll just pick my first name anything I had an account before but I just want to demonstrate how this works if you don't have an account previously choose an option here so when it comes to which of the following option best describe you um, oftentimes I encourage you just choose full-time students okay um, this it's not compulsory but you could include it so I'm going to say wise breed analytics limited so job title is optional right agree to be contacted no i don't want that i also don't want to subscribe to their newsletter so i'm going to click on next so now i need to go to my email get the seven digit code that was sent to me and enter it here so let me enter the code i received 0744535 so um i don't want ibm to contact me for anything so i'm just going to click on submit it may just take a little while depending on your internet connection it takes you to this place right so the next thing you need to do is to click on this icon okay it brings my ibm profile billing and logout so i'm going to click on my ibm and this should open to your dashboard so here you see the products that are available for you ibm spss subscription trial so i'm going to click on download and this should take me to this point where i get information about the things i need to do right so here we have several options for download now it will auto detect the pc you are using sometimes but not all the time so you can see we have 64 bits then this one is trial version for those using mac os i think there should be for 32 bit as well um 
maybe they have taken it down but it used to be here 32 bit but for most of you i think you might be using 64 bits so the way to check to know the bit of your system is to go to your file explorer go to this pc it's very easy right click anywhere here and it should take you to properties so when it opens you should be able to see the bits or how many bits your system runs on so if you look down now you would see how many bits mine is 64 bit operating system x 64 based processor so you see the system type so mine is 64 bits okay so i'm going to click on download and the download process should begin immediately it wouldn't take so long for the download to happen so depending on your network speed um, it might just take a little while and then you have the application downloaded in your pc so let's give it a bit of time and then we can continue with the installation process so it's almost done now um yeah it's it's done so when you have the application downloaded in your pc the next thing is to run through the installation the installation process is simple and seamless and so i want you to just follow me patiently if yours is yet to fully download just quietly wait after some minutes or so it should be done downloading so you can go ahead with the installation process that i will be guiding you shortly so let's quickly click on this and then we can start the installation process so click on your own or you can go to your folder go to downloads you should be able to find spss statistics already downloaded into your folder okay so click on it and then give it just a while to come up so this should come up say yes and allow it so it's preparing to install and so this is coming up now um, so we're going to click on next accept the terms and condition click on next click on next and click install so you can see it's very simple to install the IBM SPSS statistics so give it some time and you see it says um, this may take several minutes so yours might take two minutes others may take like three four five minutes but however long it takes which in actual sense it doesn't take too long for the whole installation process to be complete so it's currently done with the installation so the next thing we can do is to either uncheck this box so if you check this box and click if it's checked right now and you click finish it's going to launch the application the IBM SPSS application or if you uncheck it um, if you uncheck it and click finish then it won't launch it so I just want to launch it before we can end this session so I'm going to click finish now and let the application be launched right okay so the application is up now so when you want to launch the application this particular window will come up Alright, so you need to log in with IBM ID, which is the email address you used in opening an IBM account. Okay, so I'm going to click on login with IBM ID. So if you have the license, you can click on this one. But if you don't have the license, then click to launch with the IBM ID. So I'm going to click on that and wait for the application to come up so this is the the window that comes up after logging in but in your case it might actually require you 
to enter that email but mine because i had used this several times it just showed me this window all right so that said um, that will be the end of this session i hope it helps you to just get the application installed in the subsequent section we'll look at navigating through the interface getting familiar with the different views and then being able to use this application proficiently so thank you so much and do have a wonderful day ahead if you like this video do well to subscribe to the channel like it and possibly share with other people